Hello, guys. This is our first episode of J. I am nervous. <laughs> I am nervous. We got to come up with an intro. All right. This is our first episode of Jesus X 365. I just started this channel an hour ago. Um, something was telling me that we have our other channel, channel Soldier X2, and I knew that I already have some stuff on that channel that talks about Jesus. Um, we talk about the country, we talk about politics, talk about Jesus, talk about uh, my family, let's talk about a lot of stuff, play some games. Final Fantasy X is a game we played already. A little bit of everything on there, and I just felt like I needed to make a channel that was more direct and more specific. So, here we are. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be dressing like this every night. We'll see. But for tonight, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself, and then I have uh, something we're going to do after that, and that's it. So, my name is Corey Lee Barr. I'm 34 years old. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I lived here pretty much all my life, except for when I joined the United States Army. I lived in Georgia for four years, Fort Stewart and Fort Benning. Um, Fort Benning's where I went to basic training. Fort Stewart's where I was stationed. So other than that, we stopped over in Ireland and Germany. I've been to Kuwait. Um, I've been to Iraq. Been a couple of different locations over there. Um... I've been to California once, NTC, National Training Center. went out there when I was 18 or, ni or 19, uh, maybe 20, not sure. But um, then I went to L.A. more recently, twice, two times, and had a great time, but was under a different impression, didn't really know what was going on behind the scenes when I was out there. So um, anyway, I've been all down the East Coast. Uh, we drove out to LA the first time so I actually uh drove through pretty much every state we took the southern route there northern back so I pretty much drove through every state in our beautiful country speaking of that I love America um it's one of the things that brought me here so right here right now part of my story is excuse me that's a real man's beer that's a real man's beer okay uh, what brought me here is I've been going through a custody. We have been going through a custody battle all year. My family, my mother got dragged into it. My daughter is almost two years old, and uh, actually I actually haven't seen her in a couple weeks now. Um, it's insane. I don't want to go into all that right now. All I want to say is this year, 2023, 2023, It broke me, guys. I was already a fragmented soldier just limping along through life, you know, just doing the best I can. But, like, this year just broke me. And um, say about early on, my father stepped in, said go to church, took me to church on a Sunday. I've been going every Sunday since. Now I actually go on Wednesday, and I go on Sunday nights. Uh, started going to this other Bible study at a different church, just really past two months just like really diving into it but didn't start out that way my dad took me to church just to help me uh and it worked um and then after that going to church right because I was in uh that lifestyle they offered a baptize you know some people when that was coming up I was like you know what why not so I did that my mother was with me that day and I talked to her into getting baptized as well. And then that was probably in May or June, I would say. And then, um, again, didn't happen like that. The water didn't wash away all my sin and bring me directly to Christ, our leader, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Alpha. Uh, kind of, I think God is the provider, right? So God is our our father, he's our provider, but Jesus is pretty much everything else. He's our way to the Father, right? So we'll get more into that later. But um he's our brother, basically. Um so I've learned a lot. Um 
and not the conventional way, you know, not by going to school or, or reading the Bible a whole bunch. I do read the Bible a good bit, but like, um, more by just being in the moment and, uh, being observant, you know, just like a sponge. Um, and they're, and, and they're also, so yeah, being in the moment, being observant, and then also there are some men that I have found that I believe are living in the truth, right? So this is a slippery slope. Being a Christian isn't exactly as straightforward as you might think. Um, but what I've learned so far is there's some men that aren't quite hitting the mark, like they're on the right path, not quite hitting the mark, and then there's some men that are. Few men, very few men that are, but um, it is what it is. So, like I was saying about myself, um, that's what brought me here. Um, got baptized, didn't really do, it wasn't an instant thing, but the seed was planted, and then two months ago, to this moment, guys, I, I really don't know like what snapped or what broke or what, you know what I mean? Like all of it kind of just came crashing down and, I, and it's like the perfect storm. And um, because I was in the right place, because my earthly father, my dad had me in the right place, I was able to accept Jesus as my leader, right? And uh, that's kind of where we should start is, is what that means and, and, and what happens, right? So I'll give you a couple examples then we're gonna get into the Bible. So how I know not think, not feel, not wonder how I know that Christ is in my heart is because something did happen. Uh, words probably just cheapen it or, or make it more confusing. So we won't try to find the words, but like some examples are pornography. On Soldier X2, I have two videos about pornography you could check out. I watched porn pretty much all my adult life. Just a normal thing. Most men do, right? If you're watching this, a good chance you might. And women too. So that stopped, right? Like it just, I didn't even plan on it, but it just stopped. And now I haven't um, done anything along those lines, you know, not just watch it, but act on anything like that in over a week, right? So I haven't watched porn in two months, haven't done anything in over a week. And Jesus X365, like that's another, uh, um, idea that that I want to bring to the channel is basically like a commitment and guys I, I'm literally making this up as I go along um that's just who I am in the in the moment I don't like to pre-plan a lot or or you know what I mean they, it's in the bible just show up and let God speak right so that's that's what I try to do here um so Jesus x365 I'm already on the path. It's been two months, right? So count out. So basically for a whole year. I want to see what my life will be like if I follow Christ as closely as I can for a whole year and um, see where I'm at. So I'm already on the right path. There's other examples like that, just random things that are cutting, being cut out of my life and uh, making me a better man, making me more like... Jesus Christ, right? So I think that's a good enough intro. And now what we're going to do next is something you've probably never done before. This is my Bible. It was given to me by a clo close friend at the church. And I love it. I love this Bible so much. But not too much. And that might make sense later. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just going to randomly open it. New Testament, that's the one specific here is we're going to go new testament and just see where jesus wants us to start um and we have time we have all the time in the world guys we'll get into the beginning and the end revelation and you know when he started his journey we'll get into all that all right i'm looking forward to it i really am um but for tonight let's just see right you don't have to take my word for it all right so this will be the back Let's just go right here. All right. Too easy. We got Mark. Good old Mark. We'll read the, uh, okay, so, so anything in red is Jesus. Our alpha, our leader, right? 
the real person who walked this earth and and spoke these words. Like how how amazing is that, right? <laughs> um, and he has to be your first love. Before we start here, that's that's an important thing I want to say is what I've learned so far is that Jesus Christ has to be your first love. It can't be alcohol. It can't be a woman. Please, guys. What, the woman was my God for most of my life. Danger, danger, danger. That's why you get so uncomfortable around me. Um, it can't be women. It can't be money. It can't, it can't be none of that. It can't be another pastor. It can't be another man. Okay? It's important. It can't be any of those. It can't be the Bible even. You can't think that this is like the end all be all because it's in here. That's where Jesus lives in your heart, not in here, in your heart. Okay, kingdom of heaven is inside here. As soon as you return to the Father, as soon as you repent, become a Christian, return to the Father, you'll feel it too. Okay, so here we go. Mark fifteen thirty two. Lest Christ the King of Israel descend now from the cross, that we may see and believe. And they that were crucified with him revealed him, reviled him. Reviled him. Let's look that up real quick. All right, and, and that's how we're going to do this, right? I know most words. I'll be able to explain, you know, a lot. But, okay, I don't, I don't know. R-E-V-I-L. Relived. No, it's not relived. Okay, let's see what this is. Hold on. R-E-V-I-L-E-D. Definition. Criticize in an abusive or anger, angry manner. Okay. So, no rush, guys. Be still and know that he is God. Just learn to be patient and slow down. I was always in such a hurry all my life. My dad would try to tell me to slow down. I finally got it, Dad. <coughs> God bless America. Excuse me. Okay? So they that were crucified with him reviled him, spoke really angrily to him. And when the sixth hour was come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, lamasa bak thani. Eloi, Eloi, masa bak thani. Eloi, Eloi, masa bak thani. It's the first time I ever read that. I never knew I was in the Bible. Which is being interpreted, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He's on the cross. Wow, he picked a good he he picked a good one. And some of them that stood by when they heard it said, Behold, he calleth Elias. And one ran and f filled a sponge full of vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink, saying, Let alone. Let us see whether Elias will come and take him down. And Jesus cried with a loud voice and gave up the ghost. I can hear my heart beating. That's where that saying comes from. Gave up the ghost. And the veil of the temple was rent in twain from top to to the bottom and when the centurion which stood over against him saw that he so cried out and gave up the ghost he said truly this man was the son of god dang so we got one believer already who was that the centurion good he'll be in heaven there was also women looking on afar among who was mary magdalene and mary the mother of james the less of the Joses and Salome. Hoses, Salome. Who also, when he was in Galilee, followed him and ministered unto him. And many other women which came up with him in a Jerusalem. And now when the even was come, because it was the preparation, that is, 
the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, an honorable counselor which also waited for the kingdom of God, came and went in boldly unto Pilate. I've heard this word before, this name. Pilate. 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 Pilate? Let's see how to pronounce this. Pretty sure it's an important name. We need to know how to pronounce this. P-I-L-A-T-E. So learning. Learning is always good, especially when you're learning the truth, right? Pilate. Definition. Here we go. Really? Okay. All right. So it came and went into went in boldly unto Pilate and craved the body of Jesus. And Pilate marveled if he were already dead. And calling unto him the centurion, he asked him whether he had been any while dead. And when he knew it of the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. And he bought fine linen and took him down and wrapped him in the linen and said and laid him in the sep sepulchre sepulchre yeah sepulchre which was hewn out of rock and rolled a stone unto the door of the sepulchre that was his tomb and Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph beheld where he was laid so Mary, she waited. She loved them. She believed in him. So beautiful. And and take note of that, women. That's 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 the real good stuff. Behind every great man was a woman supporting him. You are so important. You're not as important. You want to be, you want to be the man, be above the man, dominate the man. That'll never happen. It, it, it already has happened, but our country is suffering for it. So, anyway, try to put as less of my stuff in there as I can, guys. And when the Sabbath was past, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome had bought sweet spices, and they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. I hope I'm saying that right. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very large. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and, and they were af afraid. And he saith unto them, Be not afraid. Ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified? He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. Oh my God. To have been there. But go your way. Tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall you see him as he said unto you. And they went out quickly and fled from sepulture. For they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. Now when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. You la yeah, ladies are, they're edgy. <laughs> and she went and told them that had been with him as they mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that he was alive, and had been seen of her, believed not. So at this point, Mary was the only one. Well, there might have been a couple of ladies, but uh, she believed. But these men, betas. After that, he appeared. After that, he appeared in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it unto the residue, neither believed, neither of them believed. Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. And he said to them, Go ye 
into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Okay, this is the red letter, guys. This, this ain't me. This ain't nobody. This, this is who we listen to, okay? He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. That's straight from Jesus. So what I just said earlier, I was baptized. It didn't quite change yet. That was it. It was when I started to believe, to truly repent and believe. That's when he came into my heart and said, let's, let's work. Let's do work. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. <sighs> but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Let's, let's look into that a little bit here, guys. The signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. What could he mean by new tongues? Speak with new tongues. With new tongues. Because we have the truth in our mouth now. Sword of my mouth. New tongues. I heard from a wise man that you shouldn't it's God's job to know everything, right? It's not my, it's not our job. So you shouldn't get too stuck on anything. And that's how we'll keep our channel, okay? So we'll try our best to understand and learn and all that, but we'll never get too stuck on anything, I promise. Okay? So I'll give that some thought, and maybe something will come to me. Cast out devils, man. It's obvious. They shall take up serpents. Take up serpents. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it won't harm them. That reminds me of the other guy who got bit by this snake, and everyone in the town thought he was going to die, but he didn't die. It shall not harm them. Why would we, why would we take up serpents? We shall take up serpents. When I think that, when I take up a serpent, that means I'm picking up a snake? I'm picking up a snake. Why would I pick up a snake? Maybe that means we're going to be messing around with evil people. We're going to have to be in company of some, some bad people. Uh, I, I don't know, guys. I'll give that some thought, too. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. That's easy enough. Okay, so that's the end of the red letter. All right. Jesus has spoke. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And that's where you've been ever since. I think so. I mean. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. And there it is, boys. His disciples went forth, preached, the Lord working with them. So when you become a Christian, when you start following Christ, and you have to give up the, the things, even like the porn, all, all the things that you think you can hang on to, and, you know, five years later you'll drop it. No. That's not the deal. It's in there. I mean, it is what it is, guys. You know, I, I, all right, let's finish with this. So we already went over how you know. Um, I don't want, we don't want anyone to think you're not good enough and that um, you've done anything so bad or you're doing something so bad or, or anything like that. Um, I, what really matters 
is that you're with all your heart, guys, doing your best to follow him, follow his example, knowing that we will never even come close to being him or to even, you know what I mean, standing in his shoes like he is the standard. So we already failed years ago. So that's not the point, guys. The point is in your heart, you're trying and he knows you can't you could fool all your friends or your, you know whatever your family but you can't fool him right that's that's where we'll end this one let me know what you guys think um yeah just getting started i just want i just want to be around like-minded people i want to talk about jesus i'm in love with them you know and uh i want to find other people like me and that's why i started this channel I'm doing all this work on my own anyway, so it's like, why not share it? Why not? You know, I have, I don't have much going on. Like, I do, but I don't, you know? Like, I, I no longer devote large amounts of time to, like, what does Corey want to do? Like, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of going with the flow and being in the moment and letting him lead. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's no big deal to me. All right? Let me know what you guys think. Soldier X2 is the other channel if you need more content. Um, and I'll see you guys really soon. All right? I love you unconditionally, and so does Jesus. Amen.